Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to this week's segment of Live Without Lyrics. Today's show is titled, Focus on the Small Business for Big Results. Eleanor Roosevelt said, the future belongs to those who have the beauty in their dreams. Reaching your goals comes down to one very critical thing, staying motivated. Without motivation, nothing will get done. And here's something else that I think is also should be included in that, that you need to surround yourself with positive people because positive people encourage you. If you're around negative people, guess what they do? They will tear down your dreams. And why? Because they don't want to see you be more successful than they are. But realize that along the way, you will have successes and difficulties. It can be tempting to give up when you face problems. And the key is to continue building on your small successes to help you stay motivated. The smallest success can be all you need to instill action. It's what gives you a belief in yourself and your ability to succeed. When you face obstacles, Look at the small successes you've achieved so far. Be proud of those successes and feed off of them. And here's something else to think about when you think about small successes. When you set a goal and you look at the end result, it can be very daunting. But if you break it down into day-to-day tasks, and you feel success along the way, then guess what? It will motivate you to succeed. Also, here's a story that I read, and I don't remember who said it, but it was, it, it was a famous entertainer that had a grandfather that had a farm, and he was helping him pick, or, or, you know, or, or pick the vines. So what happened was he was standing at the end, at the end and, he, and he looked down and he said, I can't do that. And his grandfather said to him, well, you turn around, and then as you're picking, going backwards, you can see how far you've come, and that will help you to realize that you can go all the way. So remember that. It's a matter of, it can be very daunting, or if you break it down into smaller chunks and feel success along the way, then those successes will fuel your motivation to move ahead to succeed. So think about that. Think about all of the ways that you can do things that can help you succeed and motivate you to succeed. Often, the reason your motivation slacks is off or slacks off is from lack of confidence or feeling of overwhelm. You may be focusing on the big goal and secretly saying to yourself, I can't do this. Instead, think of the smaller success steps you've already taken towards your goal and then celebrate the honor of them. And remember the story I told you of how if you turn around and look, instead of looking at how far you already, you have to go, look at how far you've already come, guess what? When you see that result, that will motivate you to move ahead. Maybe you want to lose 50 pounds. Instead of focusing on how far off the final goal is, look at how you've already changed your eating habits. 
start to exercise an exercise routine and have lost five pounds. Looking at these small successes creates confidence in your belief that you can succeed. Plus, getting started is the most critical part, and you have already done that. Something as simple as reading this essay is fueling your success right now. So when first starting out, ensure early successes. Choose activities you know you can do without fail. Gradually increase the difficulty of the task so that you're able to achieve that. If you're new to exercising, for example, then start with a simple 15-minute walk or do one set of strength training exercises. Later, when you become comfortable, increase the intensity level a little bit. Focus on what you can do each day rather than what you can't do because the goal is to feel success along the way. And the best way to feel success is to start small. The big goal is your guide to where you want to go, but it's the daily small success steps that you take that get you to it. For example, if your goal is to pay off debt, your daily steps should be to spend less while earning more. Here's an example you can use. As a matter of fact, I just use this Stop going to Starbucks every day. Instead, put the exact amount of money in an envelope every day. Count that money at the end of the month. Right now, you may be thinking that $3.70 a day does not make a difference as you think. Well, $3.77 times 30 equals $113.10 a month. Now, multiply that by 12, and you net $1,357.20 a year. And that's just one coffee. Now, do that with everything you spend money on that you really do not need. That will be a very big result. Do you see how focusing on the small successes along the way allows you to see big results? It builds your confidence to move to the next level, to take the bigger step. Here are some more examples of ways to build on small successes. And remember, these are only examples of ways that you can achieve your goals and set up and focus on the end result rather than focusing on the daunting long way to go. If you want to lose weight, you move from buying a a pedometer to walking 100 steps in the first week. Then, the next week, you walk 150 steps. Each week, you increase your steps. Each week, building on the previous week's success. If you want to write a book, start with one paragraph a day for a week. Increase your writing the next week to two paragraphs. Then a page, increasing your writing time over time until you have finished your book. If you want to eat healthier, start by eliminating one unhealthy food each week and adding a healthier version. Then the next week, replace another unhealthy food with a healthier version and continue this success system until you have been eating only healthy foods. If you want to be more organized, 
at home or at work, start by choosing one area, such as a desk drawer. Then begin eliminating one unnecessary thing every few days, eventually getting rid of all clutter. By building on this small success, you will have the confidence to organize other areas. If you want to start your own business, find someone you trust and get his or her program. Focus on one piece of the program a week. Commit to making time for it by blocking out that time on your calendar. Within just a few weeks, you will have learned strategies and tactics to put into action. Staying motivated can be very difficult when you only look at the big picture. If you can see a much better approach is to build on the small successes you achieve, adding more and more difficult steps as you gain confidence. Soon you will be achieving your entire goal and be ready to take on the next goal of your life. Now, we've been <coughs> focusing on goal setting. And why is that is so important? Because if you don't have goals in life, then guess what? If you don't know how to make your, your dream your goals and how to, to how to achieve them, how to break, how to, how to, excuse me, but how to, to master your dreams and master your goals, then you will always, what, what we are trying to do is get you to a point where you will not fail at achieving your goals. Why? Because goals are what make your life important and help you achieve them. And let's talk about how you can take and make some of your dreams your goals. Because why? When you can master and achieve the goals that you want in life, okay, let's talk about, and let's break it down into this. We're going to talk about how to take and set a goal and work on it. Because there are things that, that you can do that can help you achieve success in your personal life. And, you know, what? one of the things that we've seen that, uh, that I want to talk about a little bit is that We've always seen and we've got the Olympics coming up in the next couple of the Winter Olympics. And between 1960 and 1996, when the country bid for the Olympics, they would automatically, or they would also bid for the Paralympics separately. And they were willing to do this and the Power Olympics often goes into the whole city two weeks after the Olympics. Well, in 1996, when Atlanta, oh, when Atlanta went to bid for the, Olymp the 1996 Olympics, Billy Payne decided he did not want to bid for the Power Olympics. So what happened was the disability community got together, and they bid for it, 
and they were successful in bringing it to Atlanta after the Olympics. But what happened then was that you saw the head of the IOC at that time go back and change the bylaws so that any host country that bid for the Olympics was automatically bidding for the Power Olympics at the same time. And why is that important to talk about? Because the Power Olympics, you are seeing a group of people who were often told you can't dream and you can't set goals because you can't achieve it. And through sports, you saw people who had no legs and no arms or were, for some reason, paralyzed, able to compete and succeed. And although the Power Olympics does not have the money to broadcast it in the same way that the Olympics does, you do have broadcasters that will go there and we'll put them on the Universal Sports Network. But the reason I'm talking about this is because what you were seeing was a group of people who were often told that they can't succeed show that they can just by experiencing small successes along the way. So that what I want to do is talk a little bit about what it takes to feel success and in setting goals and how you can achieve them. Because really and truly, your, your goals are your dreams. So if you can dream it, you can believe it. So everything believes in the heart and mind. Every great achievement began in the mind of one person. They dared to dream, to believe it, and it was possible. Take some time to allow yourself to ask, what if? Think big. Don't let negative thinking discourage you. You want to be a dreamer. Believe it. Yes, your dream needs to be big. It needs to be something that is seemingly beyond your capabilities, but it also must be believable. You must be able to say that it, if certain things take place, if others help, if you work hard enough, though it is a big dream, it can still be done. Good example, a person with no college education can dream that he will build a $50 million a year company. This is big, but believable. And here's an example of a, someone who did that. You have Bill Gates. You have Steve Jobs. Look at what they built. But at the same time, remember that colleges did not teach what they did at that time. So things truly have changed in how business is done today and how you can set and achieve your goals. See it. The great achievers, have, they have it. They see things. They picture themselves walking around like CEO office in their new $25 million corporate headquarters, even while they are sitting on a folding chair in their garage headquarters. You know what they're doing? They're using visualization. And with visualization, if you put yourself where you want to be, you can get there. Talent. One reason many dreams never go anywhere is because the dreams keep it all to himself. It is a quiet dream that only lives inside of his mind. The one who wants to achieve their dreams must tell that their dreams to many people. One reason, as we continually say it, 
we begin to believe it more and more. When you talk about it, you believe it. But if you just think about it, then you don't believe in it. Plan it. Every dream must take the form of a plan. The old saying that you get what you plan for is so true. Your dream won't just happen. You need to sit down on a regular basis and plan out your strategy for achieving your dream. And that's where goals come into place because you've got to take and make that dream a reality. And by planning it, by writing it out, by setting it out as a goal, by breaking it down into small parts, then you are beginning to believe that you can set and achieve your goals in life. Work it. Boy, wouldn't life be grand if we could quit before this one? Unfortunately, the successful that we are is usually the hardest workers, while the rest of the world is sitting on their sofas watching reruns of Gilligan's Island. Achievers are working on their goal, achieving their dream. I have an equation that I work with. Your short-term tasks multiplied by time equal your long-term accomplishments. If you work on it every day, eventually you will achieve your dream. Enjoy it. When you have reached your goal and you are living your dream, you be sure to enjoy it. In fact, enjoy the trip too. Give yourself some rewards along the way. Give yourself a huge reward when you get there. Help others enjoy it. The biggest thing is that once you've achieved that goal, you want to enjoy it. But you also want to become a mentor because as a mentor, you can help others make their dreams a reality and teach them how to set goals and work on those goals and work on them to the point that you can believe in yourself. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is different behavioral styles because you have the dominant personality. They can see it, they can believe it, but they may not always know how to break it down to workable, excuse me, workable steps to reach that goal. You want to break it down from a long goal into daily activities. And they may not be able to do that. Then you've got the inspirational or the high I personality. And they can talk to everyone, and they're willing to get the help they need to achieve their goals in life. Then you've got the steadiness personality. And they literally do everything by the book. When they work for someone and they read the manual, they will cover that manual to the T. The last thing is the C of the conscientiousness personality, and they question everything. And remember, you can go to my website, and that website is the number one personal career coach.com. And we can help you with setting down your mission and your purpose and your goals in life and help keep you accountable to follow through on them.